Sir. Defendant's obligation under this agreement are as follows. That he shall truthfully and completely disclose all information of the activities of himself and others to the U.S. Attorney's Office. That he will co that he will cooperate fully with the New York City Police Department, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms, Homeland Security Investigations, and other law enforcement agencies. You want me to keep going? Yeah, keep going. That he shall attend all meetings of the office, that he shall provide to the office upon request any document that shall truthfully testify before the grand jury or at any trial. That he shall bring the office's attention all crimes which he has committed and that he shall commit no further crimes. Okay, and just and read the next uh, paragraph and that'll be it. If the defendant does this, the office... And this is detailed on page four, on pages four and five of the agreement, agrees not to prosecute the defendant for the crimes set forth in courts in counts one through nine of superseding information, as well as additional crimes that the defendant has told the government about. I, I checked with a lawyer in terms of what this means. From your point of view, what do you think this means? Um. You got to read in between the words superseding and all of that. It's just, he basically admitted to the crimes he took part of, his, particip his participation, and he is agreeing to disclose any other, any other information as far as what happened and who was there and how it happened. And step forth, since he has done that, as long as he does not get into any further criminal activity, or crime, all nine counts are out the window. Like that's how I that's how I take it. Basically, we could read in between the lines what his agreement was. He actually admitted uh, in the paperwork for putting a hit out on on Chief Keep's people. I and mean, he, he identified. He, yeah, he, uh, he, what, he. What was the guy's name? Kuda, Kuda B. Kuda B. Yeah, Kuda B. And I mean, you see him, you see him in the TMZ video, basically putting this alleged hit out and he actually cooperated and said who, who was the shooter. And he's now testifying against the shooter for a hit that he put out himself and getting no jail time himself yeah. while the shooter is probably yeah. going to be facing I like 15 to life or yeah. something like that. Super fucked up. You know, Kuda B wasn't, he has a whole song named after Kuda, you know, it wasn't just someone he didn't know, like a random person who'll just do it. For money, that if Kuda did do it, he did it off the strength of his relationship with my daughter's father. They were friends, you know. So that to me is pretty fucked up. You send someone to do something for you, and then when all hell breaks loose, you want to be like, "Oh, that person did it," even though they only did it off the strength of you asking them to. 